Hi, Katie here, um, sitting at my desk where my cage of giant silk moth cocoons also sits. Um, so yesterday as I was working at my desk, I heard some rustling around in one of the cocoons, which alerted me that I should pay attention to that cocoon because something really cool might happen. Um, and it did. So I made sure to take a video of this really quick um, event that happened and I wanted to share that here so that we could all enjoy it together. In these two videos, we can observe the moth rustling around in the cocoon. The second video shows where the moth is just slightly starting to poke out of the bottom of the cocoon. At this point, the moth is almost ready to exit the cocoon. We can see that its front legs are just about to come out, and there come the legs and the antenna. So this is a male moth, which we can tell because the antenna are much larger and more feathery looking than the female antenna. Male moths use their large antenna to seek out the pheromones put out by female moths so that they can breed. Once he is finally completely out of the cocoon, his wings are almost deflated looking. He needs to find a place to out and wait for his wings to expand. Which is what he is looking for right now. Here is our moth continuing his climb to the very top of the cage where he will hang out for a few hours letting his wings fully expand and dry out. Here is our adult male Luna Moth, a full day after emerging from his cocoon and letting his wings expand and dry out. You can see that the wing on the left is a little bit bent up, which happens sometimes when butterflies and moths emerge. I think he'll still be able to fly okay. We did a few test runs inside today. You can see in the video where he is vibrating to kind of warm up his wings and get ready to fly. When I release this moth, he will seek out a mate, and once he mates, um, he and the female will both die. These moths only naturally live um, about a week or so, so his next mission will be to breed, and then he will be done. These next few consistently warm days in Southeast Michigan will be a great time for this Luna Moth to continue on his next adventure. As you can see, there are a few more cocoons in my Silk Moth cage that I'm waiting to emerge. If I get lucky enough to get another video, I'll make sure to share that on Facebook with you guys if you're interested. Enjoy the rest of your week and weekend. We'll catch you next time.